to our tutorial video on managing your physical inventory. In this video, you're going to learn how to take inventory counts, manage your warehouses, and adjust inventory quantities. If you're just starting out with inventory and have not yet entered quantities for any of your inventory items, please see our tutorial on ordering and receiving inventory. We'll begin by printing a physical worksheet from our inventory reports menu. The physical worksheet will provide you with a list of items that you have or could have in stock. The list is broken down by warehouse and will display the part numbers and descriptions. If the item is a serial item, it will also display the serial numbers that you have in stock. You'll also see an aisle and bin if you have entered one for this part. And finally, it will show you the current number you have in stock and give you a line to enter the actual number you have in your warehouse so that you can make corrections. This is what you'll want to print before you begin your physical inventory counts. Once you have your actual quantities, you'll probably need to make adjustments in ESC so that ESC knows what your actual stock numbers are. There's two ways to accomplish this. First, let's pretend that some of your stock quantities are off because they were passed from one warehouse to another and this transaction was not recorded. Another common scenario is that the wrong warehouse was used on an invoice when the item was sold, making the count lower in one warehouse than in another. To fix these scenarios, we'll need to perform a warehouse transfer. To do this, go to your inventory drop-down menu and select Warehouse Transfer. Select the date you wish to have the transfer recorded. Then select the warehouse you'll be removing items from, and then the warehouse you'll be moving items into. Next, select the item you are moving and the quantity of the item you will be transferring. The Reason field allows you to add in a small note regarding this transfer. Should you find yourself viewing an inventory transaction report in the future, that reason will display as a reminder of why those items were moved. If this item is a serial item, you will need to enter a serial number in the Serial Number field. Clicking Save will complete the transfer. Another way to correct your inventory quantities is with the Adjust Inventory screen in your Inventory drop-down menu. You will begin by entering a date and a credit account for this transaction. Reducing the quantities you have in stock automatically reduces your inventory asset account within your accounting system. This is only if you have ESC accounting or are integrated with QuickBooks or Peachtree. The credit account you select is an offset account for the inventory asset account. Next, select the warehouse for the items you'll be adjusting. You can make adjustments to more than one warehouse at one time simply by entering the appropriate warehouse next to the item being adjusted. Now select your item. Be sure the item number and the description are correct. The number you enter in the quantity field is for the actual number of items you have in stock in this warehouse. ESC will do the math for you by adding or subtracting from your current amount. You also have a reason field here, so that you can explain the adjustments you are making to whomever will be reviewing the reports, or so that your future self will know what you were trying to accomplish today. You will also see a field for serial number, but you won't be able to type in it. Serialized items are treated slightly different in this screen. If you need to adjust out a serialized item, you'll simply need to enter the part number of that item. Doing so will produce a serial number dialog box with all in-stock serial numbers. Simply select the serial number of the item you wish to remove from stock, You'll notice that the serial number is now populated in the serial field and the quantity shows zero. You can only decrease the quantity of serialized parts through the Adjust Inventory screen. To increase the quantity, use the Receive Items screen to receive new serial numbers into stock. Once you have all of your adjustments entered, click Save. You will be given the opportunity to print an adjustment report at this time. If you do not wish to print this report, simply click Cancel on the Print dialog box. Clicking Cancel will not stop the adjustment, it will only stop the report from printing. If you need to access an adjustment report in the future, you can do so from the Inventory Reports menu. Simply select the part, warehouse, or date that you want to view adjustments for, and then click the Preview button. You can also track your quantities by category, warehouse, or part using any of the various reports in your Inventory Reports menu. These include the Inventory Activity Report, the Warehouse Detail and Warehouse Summary Reports, as well as the Inventory Category Report. For beginning to end details on a particular item, you'll want to use the Inventory Transaction Report. This particular report is especially useful in tracking down missing items or finding discrepancies in your quantities. This concludes our tutorial on managing physical inventory.